Hey, good morning, my dear friends. Just setting up for the MB on this beautiful morning. It's a Monday morning. The end of Labor Day is here. Can fishing get any better? It is absolutely phenomenal. We're going to cover bluefin. There's albacore in San Francisco. We have a used tackle drive to help the kids of Cedros Island and a couple of charters coming up with a little bit of room on it out of Seaforth down there in San Diego in late September and then on the Amigo up here out of San Pedro. You know what time it is. I better get busy here. What am I doing? It's time to set up for the MB. Stay tuned. And your friend Todd Woods, Cast for Kids and Riverside Steel have an incredible event that you can volunteer for. It's September the 7th at Lake Paris. They need volunteers to help some special needs kids have a wonderful day on the water. And you can make it happen whether you want to organize things on the shore, whether you have a boat and you can take a kid fishing, or you can be a co-captain. There's so many ways to help this September 7th. Give Michelle a call at 951-471-8062, or you can visit castforkids.org. Hey, if Todd Woods is involved in this, you know it's going to be a special day for some really special kids. Hope you can join them. Check out the catch of the Amigo at San Clemente Island this morning. They floated tons of live squid, and right there in the squid grounds were some eager white sea bass. 30-plus white sea bass and an excellent bite for the Amigo. Out of 22nd Street Landing in San Pedro, California, outstanding fishing. Jason Lawler, the galley chef on board, says they have pushed away from San Clemente Island and are currently throwing on more bluefin tuna, an excellent and brisk bluefin tuna action. I don't know how it can get any better than this in Southern California. There was some great nighttime fishing last night for the Highliner and several other boats pushed up there toward limits of bluefin tuna. The weather's pretty darn nice right now, and it looks like it's game on. Amigo, 22nd Street Landing. 30 plus on the white sea bass. The Thunderbird with a huge day with a hundred bluefin tuna. Several other boats in on it, and the Amigo catching tuna right now. On September 24th through the 26th, we'll be on board the Apollo, and you are invited for this very special two day trip. It is limited to only 21 anglers, includes all meals, and should be fantastic. This is when we have our best weather months in the fall, and the Apollo, they've been on their game this year. Outstanding fishing and really nice weather. Then, we're going to switch over to the Amigo out of 22nd Street Landing in San Pedro, California for another two-day adventure. October 6th through the 8th should be another great trip. Tanner, Cortez Bank, and anywhere else the fish are. Don't forget, text me at 657-227-6459 to get on board the Apollo and or the Amigo. Best weather months of the year and hopefully lots of fish for you to catch. Hey, good Monday morning, everybody, and welcome to beautiful Surfside, California. It is great to be here with you all as Labor Day has come to an end. We're already starting to talk about the end of summer. That's hard to believe. There is some phenomenal fishing going on. That bluefin tuna bite on Tanner and Cortez. Can it get any better? I don't think so. It is absolutely magnificent. We'll take you south of the border and check out several venues down there. How's the Baja bite? going right now. San Francisco, Albacore. There's also some big flatties up there. Tucker McCombs on board the Endeavor. He just keeps cranking big numbers of white sea bass. We've got the surf, the islands, and so much more. You know what time it is. It is time for the morning briefing. Good morning, my friends. Oh, is that good? It's so great to be with you all. Hey, just a reminder, take your used tackle and put it aside because we're doing a used tackle drive to help the kids on Cedros Island down in Mexico Lindo. Please make sure you store that stuff and or you can drop it by one of three tackle stores right now. We'll be adding more as we go along. Young's Tackle and Bellflower 
California, Seal Beach, California. Drop it by Big Fish Bait and Tackle over in Carson Island Fishing Tackle. Don't forget to hit that like button. We deeply appreciate it when you do that. Share these videos with a friend and tick that little bell. You'll be notified when there's new content. Subscribe to the Freedman Adventures YouTube channel. You'll follow us also on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts. Can't tell you how much we appreciate the tens of thousands of subscribers and the millions of views. We can't thank you enough. I really, really don't have the words to express my gratitude to you all. All right, let's get into it. We'll go south of the border. Let's talk about La Paz. The water's finally starting to warm up there a little bit. More and more Dorado, but it's been an unusual year for La Paz. Our friends down there at Tail Hunter International, Jonathan and Jill Roldan, nobody does it any better than they do at Tail Hunter International. The water's starting to warm up. A few more Dorado being taken. Some big Dorado up there. In Loreto, we've seen some really nice big ones biting there. Hopefully, that is going to continue for those guys up in the Bay of L.A. Continued great fishing going on up there. We have Dorado. We have Yellowtail. We have Cabrilla, Paquetas, so much more. The bite has been fantastic, including some white sea bass. We'll get a first-hand look at Cedro Sport Fishing because Sam De La Torre and the guys from Island Fishing Tackle are headed down there tomorrow morning. There is room on that trip. For one more person, if you'd like to jump on at the very last minute, and man, why not give Rosie a call and you could book that trip. One spot available to go with Sam and the guys from Island Fishing Tackle. It doesn't get any better than that. All right, let's focus in on a place that's really close to here, and I'm talking about Ensenada, Baja, California, a 70-mile drive down the pristine and gorgeous and rugged and beautiful Baja Coast will land you in that gorgeous little town where you can eat some great fish tacos as well as other cuisine, enjoy Mexican culture and Baja hospitality. But let's talk about the fishing. Offshore, it has been on the tougher side. It has not been wide open on the bluefin tuna. Far from it. Trying to get them to bite has been a real headache here lately. So offshore, we're hoping that that light switch will click on again. Remember, we get our best weather months in northern Baja and here in Southern California in the fall, September, October, November, usually gorgeous, no wind and just calm seas and more variety in terms of the fish in a normal year. We'll see how this all plays out with this La Nina and the cooler water that we are experiencing right now. But that is the normal pattern and hopefully that will help that offshore bite as we move into the future. But right now, guys are falling back on really great rock fishing. I mean, lings and reds and bocaccio. I mean, the really great fishing for the uh, t to provide you with an excellent table fare. But if you're looking for a bite on barracuda, there's been some great barracuda fishing down around Santo Tomas. It's for real sport fishing with Louis Prieto's been in on that. There are still yellows under the birds right outside of downtown Ensenada. You fire out of the Malecon area, you're on fish in 15 minutes. And you're looking for birds and you're throwing iron. That also has been a lot of fun. Some pretty good sand and calico bass fishing at times. Really good inshore stuff in Ensenada, and hopefully the offshore bite picks up here really, really soon. Unfiled taxes, you need to call Tim Marquez. He's been doing taxes for 35 years, and he's a great Freedman Adventures family member. If you have heating and or air conditioning needs, you want to call John Lopez at Efficient Heating and Air Conditioning. John is number one. I need to see you and your family down here one of these days really, really soon. So some great stuff going on south of the border. And I think the future is bright for Ensenada on that offshore bite. We'll see. There's been an occasional yellowfin offshore, occasional bluefin, you know, a kelp patty yellowtail or dorado or two or three, but overall very, very slow, very tough right now offshore. Thank goodness that inshore bite is so darn good. Let's talk long range because it has been a phenomenal long range season. The summertime long range season. Those are seven, eight day trips. They go down to Alijos Rocks and fish the Ridge, 23 Fathom Spot, and so many other great venues down there. It's been fantastic. Wahoo fishing previously was really, really good. 
that seems to have backed off right now. It's just full speed. Yellowfin tuna fishing, really great fishing going on on the YFT for the Royal Polaris and several other boats who've been getting in on it. And in fact, there's not a long range boat that has gone down there and struck out on wide open yellowfin tuna, 50 pounds, 60 pounds. You can fish heavy line, underhand to bait, and you're on to mostly 40 to 70 pound yellowfin tuna. Sometimes you'll get the 25 to 35 pound stuff, and every once in a while, one bigger than that. But it has been phenomenal fishing down there. Also some yellowtail mixed in with it. Sometimes you're dropper loop fishing at night for those big forkies. Other times you're fly lining a bait, and it has been spectacular fishing down there, the Royal Polaris with Pargo and Dorado and Yellowtail and Yellowfin tuna, it doesn't get any better than it is right now. Outstanding fishing. And you know, on the way home, these guys have been taking a look on the Baja coast or around Isla Natividad, areas like that, and they've been coming up with some really good white sea bass fishing, big calico bass, big goats, viejas, sheephead. They've been catching all kinds of stuff on the coast, and they can load you up with some great rockfish on board the Intrepid. Just take a look at that Angler's Choice trip. They're wrapping it up. After all that great yellowfin tuna fishing and everything else, they decided to put some color in the holds and check that out. Lings and reds and just great bottom fishing on the way home. It can't get much better than that really outstanding fishing. Nice calm seas here. This lovely Monday morning bodes well for the future here in Southern California. And you know, Labor Day is traditionally a time where people put their rods and reels away and they kind of stop fishing. You'll see the passenger loads start to diminish. It is the perfect time to get out. Less bow pressure, better fishing. If you can go on a weekday, you are better off yet. You're going to get a bigger piece of the pie. Keep that in mind. All right, let's go out to Tanner and Cortez Bank where the bite simply can't get any better. It is difficult if you're on a day and a half trip out there to find a boat that does not have limits of bluefin tuna. How good is that? That is two bluefin per angler per day. If you happen not to be familiar with those limits, that's what it is. And it has been absolutely off the hook. We're going to exemplify exactly what we're talking about by looking at the tribute who had a two and a half day trip where they had limits of blue fins and a tremendous fishing going on. 25 pound fluorocarbon, sometimes up to 40 pound fluorocarbon in the daytime with a good hot bait. Sometimes it's a long soak. Sometimes it's necessary to use smaller hooks. Other times it fires up and really bites full speed. So make sure you go prepared with a variety of tackle. And then there's the nighttime bite that the Tribute had absolutely off the hook. They had 50 bluefin tuna at night. Tremendous fishing and those fish were in the 50 to 100 pound class. How can it get any better than that? Gino Machinos on the new low end right now and they are catching Limits of bluefin tuna, and they've got some big fish on board. The new low end Gino will be reporting to us here in a little bit. But man, great trip going on on the new low end right now. How can it get any better than that? And we have a couple of Freeman Adventure family members out there right now, and they are bit the Voyager with Isaac Parcells. I think they're fishing San Clemente Island. They're catching a variety of fish in there. And also, we've got the Pacific Voyager out there with Jolene Thompson and Richard Keo, and they are already catching bluefin tuna this morning. Nothing wrong with that. On board the Pegasus, James Kakawa from West Coast Jiggers. He was out there. They're flying a kite, and they're trying to catch these big ones, focused in on the really big ones after limits of bluefin tuna. And all of a sudden, the captain comes on the PA and says, hey, uh, you know, I got some fish down there at 200 feet. You might want to drop a jig down and see what happens. Well, James was already down at 300 feet. He winds his jig up and he gets to 200 feet and it is wham! He is bit on the iron, winding back in the daytime with a nice, beautiful fish. His buddy, at the very same time, Hooks of fish. He said, man, what a way to end the season with a 160-pound bluefin tuna. Nice going, James. West Coast Jiggers. 
doing it again. That is a magnificent catch. Rick Russell was up running the Amigo out of 22nd Street Landing in San Pedro, California on a two-day trip. He went into the island, San Clemente Island, that is, made a bunch of squid, and guess what? Got into a ripper white sea bass by 31 white sea bass on board the Amigo at San Clemente Island. Then they just go a little ways offshore and hammer the bluefin tuna for excellent bluefin tuna fishing. 14 anglers on board the Amigo, 34 bluefin tuna, two yellowtail, 31 white sea bass. I don't know how it can get any better than that. Freedom out of 22nd Street Landing has been catching copious amounts of bluefin tuna. As I said, it's really hard to find a boat that is not catching limits of BFT right now. Fantastic fishing going on. I can't wait for our Apollo trip. It's at the end of September. We're going to have great weather and awesome fish. A two-day trip. Couple spots left on that one. And then we are on board the Amigo out of 22nd Street Landing, October 6th through the 8th. Man, that's when you're going to have your best weather. They're weekday trips. That means less boat pressure out there. It is going to bite two spots left on each one of those trips. You better jump on it while you can. If you're going to Catalina Island, the El Patron has some great trips for you on a Long Beach sport fishing. All you have to do is go to www.longbeachsportfishing.org. You can get on the El Patron Speedy, great crew, wonderful food, and they will help you along the way if you're a novice angler or a really great avid angler, pro angler. I don't know about pro, but if you fish a lot, you're still going to enjoy the El Patron out of Long Beach for fishing. Really great stuff. Let's talk a little bit about what's going on at the islands right now because it has been pretty darn good at some of the islands. Coronado Islands, however, that yellowtail bite has dried up on us after a phenomenal year. I don't know if you could have a better season than we had down there out of San Diego fishing the Coronado Islands, which are located in Mexican waters. You do need a passport to fish those islands, so make sure you're bringing that along with you. I don't know if this is a temporary lull or this yellowtail thing is finally over after several months of awesome fishing going on there. So we'll continue to watch that for you very, very closely for now. There's a smattering of barracuda and rockfish. I know the Vendetta has been catching a ton of trigger fish down there at the Coronado Islands, barracuda, you know, that kind of stuff right now. But the yellow bite has been sold. The full day boats that have been offshore, guys that leave in the morning and fish uh, and come back that very same evening have had slower fishing. There's been some bluefin caught offshore, occasional yellowtail and dorado, but it's been pretty tough sledding right now. So we'll continue to watch that for you very closely. Out there at San Clemente Island, man, there's a ton of marlin still crawling all over Southern California. That's more of a private boater thing, but some sport boats continue to catch the occasional marlin. But back to the island itself, San Clemente Island, about 60 miles from Los Angeles-based landings. Man, I'll tell you, there is some phenomenal stuff. We just mentioned the Amigo with the 31 white sea bass, and then they go a little ways offshore and they're catching bluefin tuna. And those really big bluefin are inhabiting an area very close to SCI. At the island, though, that sea bass is there. There's still a possibility for that dropper loop. Yellowtail going on, really great fishing for that stuff. It has been phenomenal at times, and they're big fish, and then it's been a pick at other times. And then during the daytime, if you want to focus on the calico bass, there's been great calico bass fishing, and also there's yellows all over the place on fly line sardine. So really great fishing at SCI. You got to put up with boat pressure on the weekends, and you got to put up with sea lions, but it has been worth it, exemplified by Rick Ross on the Amigo with a great catch on that white sea bass. You know, Channel Islands are not the only place you're catching WSB, and I've seen some pretty impressive sea bass fishing this year, from Clemente to the Channel Islands to down the Baja coast for our long-range friends. Man, it has been an incredible white sea bass year in many regards. Out there at Catalina Island, we continue to see great variety and better fishing, and the yellowtail are making more and more of a show day by day. They're not biting that well, but we're seeing more of them, and that bodes well for the future. On board the El Patron, they had a yellowtail yesterday. They also had 84 bonito, great bonito fishing. They had 
whitefish and calico bass and a few barracuda. Picking at all that stuff, really good fishing. Dropping that line down to lighter line as a couple more surf fishermen go by dropping down to 12 and 15 pound will get you a bite on the calico bass like you can't imagine. You also have to combine that by fishing with a really good hot bait. But nice fishing pursuit out of 22nd Street Landing has also been in on some of that kind of fishing. It has been good. Up there in the Channel Islands, we continue to see excellent rock fishing going on and a little bit of sand bass and barracuda. I think that bite could get going here in the fall. It really could rock and roll. The Endeavors had a trip with 50 white sea bass, another trip with 40 white sea bass. Tucker McCombs, the Endeavor out of Ventura Sport Vision, have been red hot. And I mention that because some Friedman Adventures family members are going to be on board the Endeavor tonight. Doug Tilt, who has done so much to help us here at Friedman Adventures. Doug, once again, you have all my gratitude. I am wishing you the very best. I wish you the very best the last time you were on board the Endeavor. And you had almost 100 halibut taken on that trip. I see white sea bass in your future. And I see a nice white sea bass enchilada. Is that what you mean? Yeah, enchilada for me in the very near future. Yeah, I'm just being selfish here, Doug. Best of luck. Some great fishing. The Island Spirit is out right now. Daniel Hottaway and I did a special live update last night. He has been hammering the rockfish on the half-day boat out of Ventura Sport Fishing. Half-day, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Those are long hours for a half-day trip. And if Daniel gets down on deck and everybody's in agreement, he'll fish late. He loves to fish, provides great customer service, and there's some good rock fishing going on on the Island Spirit. They're going to have trips all week long, so you can still join them on the Island Spirit by going to www.VenturaSwordFishing.com. VenturaSwordFishing.com or give Saul a call. Morning, Saul. Hope you're doing great. 805-676-3474. Some really great stuff going on. The Estrella, Cisco Sport Fishing in Oxnard. Had a nice halibut. Had a sand bass or two or three. Had some rockfish to go along with it up there so you can see that there's been some of that also. And there's bluefin tuna not that far from home. The gray light out of Cisco's had a little piece of that BFT here recently. Also, we're continuing to watch that for you very, very closely. All right. Got to mention this because out of Monterey Bay, they're catching tons of lings up there. There's albacore nearby, but Evan Brodsky uh, from the Monterey Bay Whale Watch. Uh, company up there out of Monterey. Wow, what a show on the orcas. And Evan shot some incredible drone footage of orcas playing around. And it's just a reminder to yours truly and maybe to you about why sport fishing is so special. Now, in this case, it was a whale watch trip. But when you're on a sport fishing vessel, good morning, Lupe. You can see some spectacular, incredible stuff like these orcas putting on an incredible show up there in Monterey. Really wonderful stuff going on and high hopes that you get to see a spectacle of nature like that really, really soon. And of course, showing that to a youngster, whether it's your grandson or a neighbor's kid or your own kids is really, really special. All right. Since we're up in that neck of the woods, Morro Bay with excellent rock fishing. I have a little beach. Same thing, lings and big reds. They hammer the fish up there. And up in San Francisco, we're seeing albacore, longfin tuna up there in that neck of the woods. East Bay sport fishing with some really good albacore fishing out of San Francisco. I don't know how you can beat it. The California Dawn has been all over the albacore. It's almost like they have to pick and choose right now. They still have halibut up there, tremendous lingcod fishing, but albacore, man, I mean, that's got everybody pumped up in San Francisco right now. Some excellent albi fishing going on, and I don't know how you can beat it. So really great stuff. Hey, if you'd like to go on an inner harbor fishing trip, only two can go. We have a guide here at Friedman Adventures. We'll take you on an inner harbor trip. Just send me a text if you'd like more information or you'd like to book a trip here in the very near future. It would be a pleasure to fish with you for a few hours in San Pedro and Long Beach Harbor. Just send me a text at 657-227-6459. 
Down to San Diego we go. Now we're talking local, half-day kind of fishing. And, man, I got to tell you, the premier was some good calico bass fishing and some excellent bonita fishing. The dolphin down there had great fishing. The new Seaforth, calico bass, sand bass, occasional nice yellowtail or two or three. There's been some big forkies down there uh, biting for several of those local guys, occasional white sea bass also. It's been some really excellent fishing up there at Oceanside, catching and releasing copious amounts of short bass, calico bass mostly, but also there's been some rock fishing, white fish, that kind of thing. Same thing up there out of Dana Point. They've been catching a lot of calico bass, good action, lots of fun, and then the shallow water rock fish going on also. So nothing wrong with that kind of fishing up here on the city of Long Beach out of the Long Beach and San Pedro areas. Uh, they've been catching uh, sculpin and whitefish, rockfish, occasional good bass fishing. Might get back to that now after Labor Day. You're going to have less boat pressure, gorgeous conditions. Who knows? It's all dependent on the oceanography. If the water's too cold, it really freaks them out. If it warms up a little bit more, we'll see some good bass fishing. We've seen some good bass fishing here around Long Beach, San Pedro, Marina del Rey, but just no consistency to the bite at all. We'll see if that settles in for us a little bit more. Redondo special yesterday afternoon with Calico Bass, Bonito. They had some white fish and they had a yellowtail on board the Redondo special. Some great twilight fishing out of Marina del Rey for big sand bass and Calico Bass. They have some really good fishing on the nighttime trips. So that is something you might be able to take advantage of. Channel Islands, we pretty much covered that in terms of what has been biting there. You need to go to SoCal Surf Fishing Headquarters because we're going to talk about surf fishing right now. Fishing the beach here once this tide comes up a little bit more. And there's a bird picking at a surf fish down there, it looks like. There's a fish that just rolled up on the beach. Uh, well, it's dead. But, hey, maybe I'll take you down there at the end of the surf fishing report and we'll check out what that bird is biting. Hey, big fish bait and tackle in Seal Beach, California, on the corner of Seal Beach and Pacific Coast Highway. They've got all the bait you'll need and all the tackle, but they don't stop there with just surf fishing. They've got it all. Big game tackle, reels, rods, everything you need for a successful, if I could say successful, outing on your next surf fishing adventure. Surf fishing, a little bit of yellow fin croaker, some spot fin croaker here, and also we have been able to see some uh, occasional halibut being taken on lucky crab lures or even a little chrome crocodile up there in the Santa Monica Bay. Good corbina fishing at times around the Topaz Rock Jetty down there by also the pier is good. And then up in the El Segundo area, you got planes flying over your head from Los Angeles International Airport, LAX. You're in the right place for some yellowfin croaker and also some uh, Corvina in that neck of the woods. All right, my friends, I don't know what to tell you. All right, let's go see what this dumb bird's got. You want to go? Let's go. See him? All right, I'm going yellowfin croaker. Any guesses out there? Maybe it'll be some unusual. Maybe it's not even a fish. Who knows? Let's, oh. We scared him away. Oh, it's a ray. That's what it is. All right, it's not even a fish, but I will show it to you right now. Uh, surf's been pretty lively. Yeah, a little ray here. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The mystery has been solved. And I can let these birds get back to having their breakfast. All right, my friends, as always, it is such... An honor and a pleasure to be with you all. I can't thank you enough. I don't want to step on this dumb thing. <laughs> Have a great day. Great fishing going on in SoCal. Hope to see you on one of our charters really soon, our Inner Harbor trips. And don't forget, use tackle. Save it. We'll take it down to the kids at Cedros Island, working with Diego Nuno, deckhand on the Royal Star. Diego is a great guy, always thinking about the people on the island that he was born on. And once again, there is an opening on a trip with Sam De La Torre out of Island Fishing Tackle. Have a great day. And as always, I hope to see you really, really soon. Tip.
September 24th through the 26th, we'll be on board the Apollo, and you are invited for this very special two-day trip. It is limited to only 21 anglers, includes all meals, and should be fantastic. This is when we have our best weather months in the fall, and the Apollo, they've been on their game this year. Outstanding fishing and really nice weather. Then, we're going to switch over to the Amigo out of 22nd Street Landing in San Pedro, California for another two-day adventure. October 6th through the 8th should be another great trip. Tanner, Cortez Bank, and anywhere else the fish are. Don't forget, text me at 657-227-6459 to get on board the Apollo and or the Amigo. Best weather months of the year and hopefully lots of fish for you to catch.